escaped severe weather here in the metro. Yes. But we still got some beneficial rain. As that front came through, we finally saw some storms fire right over Omaha. And now those storms are starting to push off to the east. But uh, the heaviest rain early on this evening off to our south. You see through southeast Nebraska, Beatrice, uh, Fairbury, some spots an inch, an inch and a half of rain. More rain coming down now in southwest Iowa here in Omaha at Epley Airfield. This evening batch of storms produce 15 hundredths of an inch of rain. There's the heavy rain still just east of Omaha. A cold front has passed through, so the storms in southwest Iowa now stretching uh, through Harlan up toward Carroll. So non-severe storms, still some heavy rain with these. You see those reds, heavy rain, lots of lightning there in Pottawatomie County. So these storms continue to push off to the east and here in Omaha. We are starting to dry out. Here's the last six hours. The original thinking was that we'd see storms develop along this cold front uh, as they move closer to Omaha. But remember, we had some storms this morning and some cloud cover in the afternoon, so the atmosphere wasn't able to destabilize enough for those storms to fire up until that front got right over us. So most of those storms developed in southeast Nebraska and rolled right along the Kansas border. Now moving through St. Joseph right now, the northern flank now bringing some more heavy rain through parts of Iowa. But we did at least get some rain as that front moved through. Look at this big upper level low spinning North Dakota into southern Canada and this cold front trip all the way down south. So this is going to continue to push east tonight and move the storms with it. High pressure off to the west tomorrow builds in. That means more sunshine, northwest breeze and some less humid conditions. So if you got the lawn mode today before the storms. Great. Enjoy a beautiful day. Finally, a break from the humidity tomorrow. Temperatures in the low 80s. But if you need to get yard work done this weekend, tomorrow's the day to do it. Because Sunday we could see some storms early and then potential for some stronger storms late in the day. Right now outside, that's Douglas Tower cam looking to the east. You can still see some flashes of lightning out in the distance. Oh, look at that. Those are those storms over in Iowa. Storms in the vicinity of Epley Airfield right now, 77 degrees. We've picked up that northwest breeze with that frontal passage. So things cooling down a bit. 69 in Norfolk, Beatrice, Nebraska City, Falls City. That's where the heavy rain was, as I showed you earlier. More of a northwest breeze as the front continues to push through Iowa. So we'll see more of those uh, winds shift to the northwest as the night progresses farther off to the east. But it's also pulling in some drier air. Dew points are down to the low 60s in Norfolk. Much better than the upper 70s and low 80s some spots had this afternoon. Tonight, storms moving out, clouds clearing out late. 64 for the low. Look at that, that's beautiful. 75 at noon, lots of sunshine, low 80s tomorrow afternoon. Enjoy it. Impact weather with the storms returning on Sunday and then the heat, humidity, well, they're back next week with more storm chances as well. So, David, we got the rain without the severe weather, so beneficial. Didn't have to uh, water the garden, water I know. the yard. It's Loved nice it. to get some of that rain. And we're going to have a really nice day tomorrow. Mm -hmm.